Just wanted to show you um, the next book, how I can get it to display on my um, JVC TV. The JVC does have uh, HDMI input. And then uh, just show you the cable here. <laughs> That's the HDMI micro connection. And then I have a 15 foot cable. You just plug the other side of the HDMI cable into the back of the TV. And I'll just pull it out and show you what the connector looks like. It's the large, normal sized HDMI connector. Just a couple of quick notes on how to set up your external TV or external monitor. If you notice right now, um, this is my JVC TV that's uh, projecting the output from the next book. And if you notice that the uh, display is, is filling the screen with uh, beautiful colors, and then on the next book, it's uh, the display is blank. What you have here is um, uh, a key that a couple of keys on the keyboard that allow you to select a choice of what's going to be the output display, the uh, function key, and this uh, F8 that has uh, two boxes on it for duplicating the display. If you hit both of those at the same time, then you get a menu up that gives you four choices: uh, PC screen only, duplicate extend and uh, second screen only. Right now I have it set to second screen only but I'll show you what happens if you set duplicate so that you can see the uh, picture on both displays. Go up there and select duplicate with my mouse and so now I have the display output on the next book as well as the TV but if you notice something about the TV the picture does not fill the screen and that's because the um, size of the picture is uh, dominated or managed by the next book so the TV is showing the maximum output of the next book display Okay, so if I want the picture to fill the whole screen, I have to make my next, go, next book go blank, and then the uh, TV will fill the screen because then it'll, the uh, parameters of the display will be uh, managed by the TV itself. It won't be restricted by the next book. So I'll see if I can show you how to do that. You go down and... Hit that function and then F8 gives you the menu and then you just go down and select uh, second screen only and then it'll ask you to confirm just hit yes for that one and it gives you about 10 or 15 seconds or so to, to select yes, or otherwise it'll go back to what it was before. So now you see this, the picture fills the TV screen again, and I have a blank next book. So those are just some tips on uh, using an external TV or external monitor. And there's just one final note about that, uh, using an external display or TV. And that is, even though the next book display is blank, um, it's still very active. In other words, you, uh, your mouse, your keyboard, and the display itself, input-wise, is uh, still just as normal. You can still uh, move things around. And then you get the uh, Windows 8.1 home screen. Um, and... Uh, what I wanted to show you here is that uh, your touch screen on your next book is still active so you can go up and select things you know, and move move the screen around and so forth so let's go I'm gonna select weather okay 
so you can still use your touch screen to move things around. Okay, so hope that helps.